Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today, we're getting into something pretty interesting, automating your personal WhatsApp. That's right. We're talking about using the account you already have, not needing the whole business API setup. Exactly. Forget juggling devices or uh, getting lost in endless group chat notifications. We're focusing on a potentially smarter way to handle things using a platform called LateNode. Mm -hmm. And our sources are mainly from LateNode itself. They're website articles about this personal account automation, how it integrates. Right. And there's also a YouTube demo we looked at, which shows it in action, which is helpful. Definitely. So our mission today is really to break down the key benefits, figure out you know how it actually works under the hood, and understand what you need to keep in mind. Basically, is this a practical tool for you, the listener? Yeah. If you're thinking about finding more efficient ways to talk to clients, or maybe follow up with leads, even just managing group chats without the tech headache or those per message costs. Then this deep dive should give you some useful insights. Okay, so let's start with the problem this is trying to solve. What's the usual challenge with the official WhatsApp business approach? Well, the sources we looked at really highlight the hurdles with the standard WhatsApp business platform. It's powerful, sure, but it's not always straightforward. Right. The late node materials mention uh, the technical side, things like setting up servers, getting through that Facebook business verification. Which can sometimes be a bit of a black box. Yeah. And then integrating it all with your CRM systems. It sounds like quite a bit of groundwork. It can be. And then there's the cost. That's a major point raised. Uh, yes. The per message cost. Unlike just using your normal WhatsApp, right? Exactly. The business platform charges per conversation or message, depending on the model, and that can really add up, especially if you have a lot of interactions. Okay. And what about flexibility? I remember seeing something about limitations. Yeah, the 24-hour response window is a big one. If a customer messages you, you have that window for free-flowing chat. After that. You're restricted. Often, yes. You might need to use pre-approved message templates to reinitiate contact which can feel a bit stiff or impersonal sometimes. Right. Not ideal for a natural conversation. Which brings us neatly to what LateNode proposes, automating your personal WhatsApp account instead. Okay, so this method deliberately avoids that whole business API structure. That's the idea. It sidesteps a lot of those technical setup steps and, importantly, the per-message costs we just talked about. So how does it actually connect? If it's not the API, what's the mechanism? Is it like screen scraping or something complicated? Uh, no, it seems much simpler, actually. Based on their documentation, it works very much like WhatsApp Web. Okay. You go into their authorizations section on the late node platform and you scan a QR code with your phone's WhatsApp app. Uh, just like linking your phone to your computer. Exactly the same process. Yep. That action authorizes late node to interact with your personal account. Wow. Okay. That sounds surprisingly easy compared to setting up servers. It definitely lowers the barrier to entry. So once you've scanned that code, what happens next? How do you build the automation? Well, then you get into designing the workflow. LateNode lets you either build these automations from scratch or you can use their ready-made templates. We should definitely talk about those templates later. For sure. And once you've designed it, you deploy it. The key thing they emphasize is that it's all done using a visual editor. Drag and drop, that kind of thing. Yeah. No coding needed, apparently, which makes it accessible for, well, pretty much anyone. That's a huge plus. Okay, so let's summarize the big advantages here. Why go this route over just manual WhatsApp or the official business API? Well, first off, as we just covered, the setup simplicity. No complex tech hurdles, no deep integrations required just to get started. You're linking your existing account. Lowering that initial barrier makes sense. What else? Proactive messaging is a big one. With the business platform, you often need the customer to message first, right? Right, because of that 24-hour window thing. Exactly. But with this personal account method via late node, the sources say you can initiate conversations. You can reach out to leads or clients first, even if they haven't messaged you or saved your number yet. Oh, interesting. So you could say, follow up after someone downloads something from your site with a direct WhatsApp message. Potentially, yes. It opens up those kinds of proactive engagement scenarios. That feels like a significant difference. And what about the timing? Does that 24-hour limit disappear too? Yes. This is, that restriction doesn't apply here because you're essentially automating actions through your personal account's connection. So you can send messages whenever it makes sense for your workflow, not just within that initial window. More control. Okay. And how do the messages actually look to the person receiving them? Do they scream automation? 
That's another key point. They make the personal touch because it's coming from your actual personal WhatsApp number. Ah, so it just looks like a normal message for me. Precisely. It should appear as a natural one-on-one -on -one chat. No, obviously, robotic templates or formal structures, unless you choose to write them that way, of course. That authenticity can be really important for building rapport. Definitely. And you have full control over what the message says, when it goes out, and who it goes to. Late note allows for conditions, filters, segments. So you can get quite granular with targeting. Yes, you're crafting the rules and the content yourself, not picking from a limited list of approved templates. Okay, and we touched on cost, but let's just nail that down. How does the pricing work compared to the business API? It's fundamentally different. With this method, you're not paying WhatsApp per message. Those messages are free, just like your normal chats. Right. The cost is for using the Late Note platform itself and specifically for this WhatsApp integration capability. The YouTube demo mentioned it uses something called plug and play tokens. Tokens. How does that work? For the personal WhatsApp connection, it apparently costs 10 of these tokens per month. So it's like a small monthly fee within Late Node to keep that specific connection active and running your automations. So a subscription to the automation service rather than paying for every single message sent or received. Exactly. That's the core difference in the cost model. Got it. That clarifies things. Okay, let's dig into the how a bit more. That YouTube video you mentioned, what did it actually show happening inside Late Node? It gave a pretty clear visual. It showed the user creating a new connection, selecting WhatsApp personal account, and then boom, the QR code pops up on the screen. Ready to scan with your phone. Yep, very straightforward linking process. And once it's linked, what kind of actions could the user automate in the demo? Well, the basics, like sending messages to existing contacts or specific chat IDs, it also showed you can add a subject line, which is interesting. A subject line in WhatsApp. Yeah, and also attaching files, documents, images, you name it. Attachments too. Wow, so you could automate sending like a welcome PDF or something? Absolutely. That seems quite powerful. It wasn't just about sending, though. Hmm. What else? The demo showed retrieving information from chats. Things like getting the content of the last message, seeing if there were attachments, checking the timestamp, the name of the contact. Hmm. And for group chats, it could even list all the participants, the attendees. So you can pull data out of WhatsApp as well as push messages in. Exactly. And it went further showing how to list all your chats, filter them, maybe just show unread ones or list messages only from a specific chat or a specific sender. That sounds like you can build some really smart logic based on what's happening in your WhatsApp. Yeah, quite fine-grained control. And critically, it also confirmed that incoming messages can act as triggers. Ah, so if someone Someone messages you that can kick off an automation yes it, that's essential for creating interactive flows right yeah. an incoming message containing a certain keyword could trigger an auto reply or maybe add that person to a specific list in your crm okay so it enables two-way automation not just broadcasting that makes sense that now you mentioned templates earlier the late node site lists a few ready to use ones can you give us a flavor of those? What kind of problems do they solve? Sure. There's quite a variety. One that caught my eye was the daily WhatsApp chat summary with insights. Okay. What does that do? It uses AI, apparently, to scan your group chats and generate a summary of the key points, discussions, maybe shared files. Whoa. So instead of scrolling through hundreds of messages... You get a concise daily digest. Imagine that for busy project groups or team chats. That alone sounds like a killer feature for saving time. What else? There's one for CRM integration, the CRM-based personal follow-up and notification sender. Let me guess. Trigger messages based on CRM events. Exactly. Like send a follow-up WhatsApp message after a meeting logged in your CRM or send appointment reminders automatically. Very practical. Then there's a lead catcher template. This one monitors specific WhatsApp groups you're in for keywords you define. And if it spots a keyword. It can automatically start a conversation with the person who mentioned it, potentially engaging a lead right when they express interest. Mm, clever. Very proactive. Yeah. They also have a template for WhatsApp bulk messaging from personal account, sending personalized messages out to a list. Okay, for announcements or maybe targeted offers, but personalized. Right. And another interesting one bridges platforms, a group message aggregator to Telegram. It forwards messages from WhatsApp groups you choose over to a Telegram channel, maybe formatting them along the way. Useful if you prefer managing things in Telegram but need info from WhatsApp groups. And the last one mentioned was quite futuristic, an AI personal assistant for WhatsApp. 
It claims to use AI to handle responses to both text and voice messages. Voice messages too. Okay, that's stepping things up. That's a pretty broad set of templates. It really covers a lot, from productivity to sales and support. Yeah. And beyond the specific templates, the sources mention general use cases too. Like what? Things like customer support, maybe automatically creating a ticket in your help desk system when someone messages with an issue. Or for sales, logging leads automatically. Marketing updates. The usual suspects. And specific integrations with other tools. Do they list any? Yes, quite a few common ones. Calendly, for instance, you could automate sending WhatsApp confirmations or reminders for booked meetings. Ah, that'd be handy for reducing no-shows. Definitely. Also, HubSpot for updating contacts, JotForm for getting summaries of form entries, Google Sheets for logging data. Okay, standard automation stuff. ClickUp for creating tasks, Gmail maybe for summarizing important emails into WhatsApp, Airtable for updating records, Typeform for triggering actions after a survey, lots of possibilities to connect it into your existing toolkit. So you really could wire up quite complex workflows connecting personal WhatsApp to all sorts of other apps. It seems so. Now, this all sounds very powerful, maybe too powerful if used carelessly, what are the important warnings or considerations? The compliance stuff. Absolutely crucial point. Late Note is very clear in the materials. They strongly recommend getting consent before messaging people. Right. Nobody wants spam, especially not on WhatsApp. Exactly. So while Late Note gives you the tool, you are responsible for using it ethically and complying with WhatsApp's terms of service. Just because you can automate doesn't mean you should bombard people. Precisely. Yeah. They also add a practical warning. If you send massive volumes of messages, or if your activity looks very repetitive and bot-like. WhatsApp might notice. Yes. WhatsApp systems might flag that activity, and it could lead to temporary restrictions on your account. Okay, so don't go crazy with mass blasting. And related to that, they specifically advise not using your main primary personal phone number for heavy automation. Why is that? Risk of getting blocked. That's the concern. To minimize the risk of your main communication line being affected, they suggest considering a separate number if you plan on doing extensive automation. Oh, that's a really important practical tip. Use a dedicated number for this kind of thing if you're going big. Seems prudent, yeah. Okay. And we touched on cost, no per message fee. But the late note subscription and those tokens, can you just recap that structure? Sure. The big draw is avoiding the WhatsApp business API per message costs. With LateNode, you pay for the platform access. That specific WhatsApp personal account integration costs 10 plug-and-play tokens per month. Just 10 tokens a month for that capability. That's what the source indicated. And LateNode also has a free plan. No time limit on the free plan. Apparently not. So you can actually try out the platform, maybe build a simple workflow, see how it feels before you commit to paying. A free tier is always good for testing the waters. Okay, lastly, how does Late Note stack up against other players in the automation space like Zapier or Make? And what are users saying about it? Well, Late Note seems to position itself as a more affordable but still powerful alternative to those established giants. Cheaper but capable. That's the angle. User feedback often mentions it's easy to use. Even for beginners, that visual editor helps. But does it have depth for more technical users? It seems so. They praise the built-in code editor for customization if you need it. And there's also an AI co-pilot feature mentioned that helps you build automations, which gets good feedback. An AI assistant for building the automations themselves. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Users also seem to like the ability to create their own custom nodes or integrations. Extending its capabilities. Right. And the flexible pricing model comes up, too. People acknowledge it's newer compared to Zapier or Mapeup. So maybe not as many native integrations yet? Potentially, although the list we saw was pretty solid. But the general feeling from the reviews seems to be that it offers really good value and has a lot of potential to grow into a major player. Okay, that's good context. So wrapping up, it really sounds like using something like LateNode to automate a personal WhatsApp account could be a genuinely compelling option for many people. I think so. If you want to streamline communication, send proactive messages, integrate with other tools, but without the cost and complexity of the official business API, it looks like a very viable path. You get flexibility, that personal touch, and potentially save a lot of time and money. The efficiency gains could be significant. So for you listening, if this sounds appealing, maybe think about which of those use cases we discussed really hits home for you. Is it the follow-ups? The group chat summaries. Yeah, check out the Late Notes site. Look at the templates, the integrations, the pricing, especially that free tier to start. Definitely. Think about how much time you could potentially free up 
just by automating some of those repetitive WhatsApp tasks. What could you do with that extra time? And it does make you wonder, doesn't it? As these tools get easier to use, what other everyday communication channels could be automated in similar ways? Hmm. Beyond WhatsApp, where else could we apply this kind of thinking to connect better or more efficiently? It's an interesting thought for the future of communication, definitely. Some good food for thought there. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this deep dive.